Yo, 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 with good broskies, it's your boy Ronnie and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. This time, we seem to be going to an air temple. Hopefully, we'll find out some cool seekers behind El uh, Ang's past, you know, build up the story a bit. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Video. What? Of a secret group of air who at and this is a story about airbenders. It is. Well, an airbender story is the best. It must have been a hundred years ago your great grandpa met them. Right? What are you prattling about, child? Great grandpappy saw the airwalkers last week. <laughs> are there still airbenders left? Doesn't no, look right. Not. What do you mean they're not? Those guys are flying. Gliding maybe, but not flying. <laughs> so let's find him and act like a kid. We better find some solid ground before it finds us. Is he about to show off? I feel like he's about to show off. He's about to show off. <laughs> Dude, that technique is fire though. Is he? Like I've heard stories about you. The user and spread, wow, hey. Wow, this glider chair is incredible. You'd think this is good. Wait until you see the other stuff my dad designed. Yo, they fucked this temple. Oh no. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be a fan of this though. <laughs> For keeping it a bug. Wow. This is supposed to be the history of my people. Yo, nah, they fucked it up. Well, there goes the last part of the temple that wasn't ruined. People around here are starting to stink. <laughs> this whole place stinks. No. Yo, my nigga, relax. Like, nobody, like, questions this, right? Like, the fact that a 12-year-old from 100 years ago exists. Like, just nobody just questions this. Refugees after a terrible flood. We're just in the process of improving upon what's already here. Yo, Ang doesn't feel like this is improving. Yo, what's up? What do you do? Nature knows where to stop. I suppose. What's up with Katara? Unfortunately, progress has a way of getting away from us. Hey, hey, I want to show you something. I just can't get over it. That guy really gets along with Asaka, though. I don't know about that. The temple might be different, but the creatures that live here are probably direct descendants of the ones that lived here a long time ago. Yeah. You probably would open it. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. This is the last part of the temple. Yeah, the temple I, I figured like the I way you're thinking right now. I completely understand. I just wanted you to know it was here. Thanks. <laughs> this is a good kid, man. Like he's he seems very likable. Fireflies are a non-flammable light source. Oh. It's filled to the brim with natural gas came across it my first time here okay so that makes sense why you would want something non-flammable nearly blew myself and the whole place even more sky high so this place is an explosion waiting to happen are you ready no <laughs> even though Teo's not an airbender he really does have the spirit of one. Low key, right? Like, he genuinely loves the air. I've been thinking, if you want to see what's in that room, I'd be happy to open the door for you. I said don't touch anything. What a hot air balloon. These are like really cool doors. Though. The design of everything is just... And now, is somebody like attacking? Ayo, hey, what the fuck? That's Fire Nation. This is a nightmare. Fire Nation soldiers found our settlement. You were too young to remember this tale. They were going to destroy everything, burn it to the ground. I pleaded with them. I begged them to spare us. 
How can I be proud of you when your inventions are being used for murder? You know better than to keep me waiting. Who? I thought it was Admiral Zhao for a second. Get out of here! Yo, Ang. There's people's lives at stake here. Will be on your head. This is bad. Very bad. Hey, what are we gonna do? How can we possibly keep them all away? I want to help. Good. We'll need it. <laughs> we finally got the war balloon working thanks to soccer. Oh, it's called this the war balloon. A <laughs> Thank you. You're a genius. That's actually pretty like smart. smart. Okay. We got four kinds of Soccer's like genuinely Smoke, smart. Slime, fire and stink. Yo. You had brought this many soldiers? I think it's like fire benders. Might be nice to start shooting fire. Unless you like a group. Ooh. <laughs> This technique is so fire, guys. Oh, it's yo, cause an avalanche, cause an avalanche. The fire nation look like men advanced in terms of like weapons and ships and stuff. Ang, help! Do what the tower is doing. Yo, what a bend to you. How far? How far holds it down, man? Like if we're keeping it a buck. Why aren't they shooting at us? The insignia. They think we're on their side. What's up with this line? Is it like filled with like? Oh, no. that was the yeah, there's That thing is like right at the foundation of this temple, hey? Like this shit could have gone down. Like the whole temple. I feel like if somebody from the Fire Nation is gonna find that and replicate it. You know what? I'm really glad you guys all leave here now. Aang, you were right about air power. As long as we've got the skies, we'll have the Fire Nation on the run. The Fire Nation is gonna be able to fly somehow. Exactly what I thought would happen. This defeat is the gateway to many victories. Yeah, the Fire Nation about to fuck shit up. Ah, I'm not gonna lie. I 100% feel like this episode was about that war balloon. Like, I think in the final showdown, the Fire Nation people will have air superiority like yo these people are gonna rain fire down on people that's literally all that's going through my mind man that's literally literally all that's going through my mind and when i look at the weapons that they're using those tanks i feel like now i have a better understanding of how possibly the previous airbenders at ang's temple were messed up because I've always wondered like how did they get so high like how did they get to those temples now I'm figuring out that okay cool they actually mach they actually have machinery that can climb these things and go to these temples like for me I just feel like if was if this is how they did it at the beginning then I now know one of like now one of the things that have plagued me for the longest time like how did they get out the air temples it's finally, finally solved. Look, and also, like, I know this series has a habit of making Sokka look like an idiot, but this guy's actually smart. Like, it's just like I said in the last couple of episodes, like, I genuinely feel like the role he plays is the strategist of the group. Like, the value that this kid has in his own way, beyond bending, is... Top tier, bro. Top tier. But anyway, man, since we're in the Northern Air Temple, I'm assuming we're somewhere up in the north and we're like really, really close to get into the Northern Water Tribe. We only have like three 
episodes left of this season. I hope one of them we finally land there, bruv. I hope we finally land it. But anyway, tell me how you feel. Did you like this? Did you not? Please hit the comment section and let's have a conversation. But other than that, like and subscribe and join the family. Thank you again. See you in the next one. Peace.